Everybody is talking about cloud code, but those videos won't help you turn ideas into income. After building three profitable SaaS products earning over 10k a month, I'll suggest my approach, I call it IDI. It helps guide the LLM to implement exactly what you want without hallucinations. We are building a real website called All Dev Needs, a home for useful tools developers actually need, like a JSON formatter. The website is live and running, so feel free to use it. Let's jump in. The first step in the IDI is Imagine. This app is all about imagining your app's look and locking into its key features. These days anyone can build an app, but only the ones with real value and great user experience actually succeed. At all dev needs, my goal was to build a collection of practical tools for developers, all in one place, fully responsive across devices. One key feature I focused on was showing specific locations in the JSON where errors are detected, making debugging faster and cleaner. We'll use Excalidra for this step. Don't worry, I'll put a link in the description. I'm imagining the app with a menu on the left for all the tools and the tool interface on the right. For the JSON formatter, it will have two text areas, one for input, one for the formatted output. On mobile, the input should appear on top, followed by the output below. The menu should stay hidden and open with a tap. Don't try to include the entire app in one flow. If it's too detailed, break it into smaller features. Once we have our blueprint app, the next step is to design it. This part is often missed by developers, so listen carefully. You can work with Figma as well, I wanted everything to be free, so I'll keep working with Excalibur. We'll use mature, well-established UI libraries for two key reasons. First, this code has been reviewed by many developers over time, so it's likely to contain fewer bugs. Second, LLM perform best on code they've seen during training, which means using popular libraries yields better results. I'll be using ShedCN UI library to choose the building blocks for my site. You can also try TwixCN, which has some more complex components. In my website, there is a sidebar, so I'll jump right to it and choose one that looks nice. Let's take this one. This library is great because you can see how the component will work on each device and copy the exact code right here. I also choose a text area with button and cards for my design. If the exact design isn't available, break it down into smaller components. Chances are you'll find those parts in the library. You can also ask Cloud Code to do it just like this. Because we are working with Excalibur, I'll put the component name in brackets. Great, we are ready for our final step, implementation. Before we continue, I created this video because it was requested by our subs. If you want us to cover more topics, drop a comment. Let's get back to the implementation. The key here is to give the LLM all the context it needs while limiting its freedom to avoid unwanted results. First, let's attach our Blueprint app, attach the design with the components, and add the source code of the chosen components. This is the prompt. Make sure to mention the file attached and to use the plan mode. I skip error detection for now, I'll end delete in a later iteration. Once the core site looks good, I'll commit and move on with some more prompts. This is the result, it looks nice and has the components I wanted. To be honest, it had some little bugs, but they were just one prompt from solving. It will mean the world to me if you liked and subscribed to our channel. Thanks, and see you in the next video.